hi guys good morning starting the vlog at 11 o'clock right and uh, i am so tired of course i didn't get enough sleep you guys know it so today i'm going to be in the kitchen it's when did i last cook with you guys i don't even remember that i took a bath i've not applied anything on my face if it is so dry please don't mind me <laughs> because hmm i mean i actually didn't go to school by the way and then when he's home I usually love my skin to breathe, you know. I, I most of the times when we are when Abinash especially is home and on the Sundays, I don't apply any lotions, anything on my body because of course my, my body is a bit oily, so I don't apply anything, I just let it breathe, like take its time to get back to normal, right? And then that is when I do it. So I am going to be making eggs today as the curry that you're going to be eating and abby didn't go to school because he's been having a running stomach like the whole night i don't know i don't know what he ate like yesterday while i was picking him from school like when he stepped out of the class immediately he told me my mom my, my, my tummy is paining but i was like ah oh, you know kids are always saying that and i waited for him to complain again later like when he reached home he refused to eat he's like my tummy is paining i was like okay let me let his tummy rest but little did i know that in the night he's gonna have like a running stomach so he's been having it and then in the morning when i woke up of course our usual time to guys don't mind my hair i want to take this hair out <laughs> look at that but don't mind it rose says it looks good it still looks good but to me i feel like that is why i want to be wearing makeup every every time anyway so <laughs> she's laughing at me so um when i woke up i'll be up in the morning like as usual to go to school I was like, what happened to you? Like his pant was dirty. I'm like, what happened to you? He's like, I don't know, you know? So I'm like, no, you can't go to school like this. No, you're gonna disorganize the whole day in your class. So it's better you stay home. And I might like, I, I, I monitor you from home and then we shall see if you're better, you can go to school tomorrow. And then since he woke up, he kept on going and going. I don't know, his tummy is so sensitive. Anything that is not good for his tummy that he eats, it creates a problem, right? So I called his teacher. I was texting with this teacher and I'm like, he can't come today to school. So because of this and this and this, so she's like, probably he ate something that he's not supposed to be eating. And I'm asking him, he's saying, no, I didn't eat anybody's snack. So I don't know what, which is which. Anyway, let us start cooking. So this is what I'm going to cook. The eggs are peeled. The potatoes are peeled. Uh, let's cook. I think everybody gets lazy once they know that they are going to be spending a day home and they are not going anywhere. So the same thing applies to Abby, especially on Saturdays, Sundays. He gives me like, um, he makes me talk a lot about bathing and he's like, Ma, but I'm not going anywhere. Ma, but it's still so early. Ma, but I want to watch five minutes. Ma, give me five minutes. Ma, and I'm like, okay, like, why do you need to bother me during this time? And and then I also remember, like, it's a weekend. Like, he needs to be comfortable. Like, he needs to be in. He needs to take his time. He doesn't need to bed that much early because he knows he's not going anywhere. And then I'll keep on giving him five minutes and he keeps on asking, Mommy, please, five minutes. Mommy, I'll go. Mommy, that. And I think all kids do the same thing, right? During the weekends, everybody just wants to be doing stuff like watching TV, like playing with their siblings or something like that. Fighting, of course. I remember uh, growing up, I used to fight with my siblings, especially for a remote, I think, with my younger brother. Like there was even a time, I remember, I don't know whether he remembers this. If you're watching this video, I don't know whether you remember this. <laughs> but I remember there was a day we woke up in the morning and we needed both of us wanted to watch the tv and you found me watching the tv and then you snatched away the remote and i had to run around the whole compound with you to take it back and i finally <laughs> kicked on your bum <laughs> i was like don't joke with me anyway remembering the childhood memories when i see my kids doing this i'm like um it's a weekend let me let them be so like today i've been asking abby to go take a bath like since 
since he woke up basically because i'm like you'll feel better when you're sick my mom says when you're sick and you take a bath you feel much better like you regain the energy and all but anyway i'll, t I'll let him take his time because he's, he's so weak and then when he goes to the bathroom like again and again he becomes super super weak which happens to everybody though so yeah After poking up all the eggs, I usually fry them. You guys know that. And then after putting them all in the oil that is hot, I am going to be chopping up my onions and tomatoes. Of course, I had already chopped the onions and now I'm chopping the tomatoes. And I'm using only one tomato because it is so big. And then usually, um, I don't know, um, in the curries, I don't really use a lot of tomatoes because at times um, they are not needed. So if it is a huge one, like a, a big one, then one is enough. If there are those very very tiny ones and we shall need to opt for two but usually i usually go with one because i usually get the bigger sizes of the tomatoes right so here i am chopping the tomatoes after here i'm going to just organize my spices that i'm going to be using uh the usual spices of course you guys know the spices that i usually use for each and everything i guess you guys have learned right so uh if you if you want to make the egg curry and you feel like you don't have the spices that that i use it's okay you can use whatever you have or you can follow your own spice thing but following the same um process of cooking the eggs right you fry them and do whatever you want to add in there but the process should be the same this is this especially goes to my ugandans you know kenyans and everybody that will be trying to uh maybe go by the process of cooking probably eggs curry or wants to eat eggs curry and wants to try it out for the very first time so yes you can use the spices that you have but just follow the same process so yeah
after adding the onions and the spices we're going to be adding one spoon of garlic and ginger you guys know i usually make my garlic and ginger paste and then i keep it in the fridge to make my cooking easier so this is why you know i have time to take while i'm cooking because i don't have to peel the ginger or the garlic that takes a lot of time so i just make it at once keep it in a jar keep it in the fridge if you add turmeric and salt it can go for even three weeks if you don't use it that much right anyway so i'm gonna mix everything and then cook them until the raw smell of the garlic and ginger um disappear completely from it and then we shall add in our tomatoes After adding in some water for the tomatoes to cook properly, I'm going to cover it and let it cook for some time. And uh, when we, we, while it is cooking, I'm going to chop up my potatoes, the one that I had boiled together with the eggs. Here they are, and then I'll add them in there once the oil oozes out. Like you have to cook your tomatoes and the rest of the spices until the onion, I mean the cooking oil oozes out. That is when you know what you're cooking is right, right? It's on the right track. So once the water gets done from in there, like the ones that, the one I had added, the little one, that is when you let it cook until the oil comes out and then you add in everything, potatoes and our eggs and we shall mix it together while, you know, Teacher. Oh no, teacher has come? Teacher storm. Where is teacher? Where is teacher, Baba? Say hi, teacher. Say come here. 
Come in. What? Where is teacher? What? Atash? Hmm. Teachers, come.